Hey everyone, uh, the saga of the window installation continues, and I still haven't figured out a good way to be able to do this without it being super messy. Uh, I, I this is definitely not my favorite compare. I will do I'll do fuel tanks all day long compared to this. Uh, everybody sweats about the fuel tanks, and quite frankly, they're not that bad. This is uh, because it's near finish work or it's finish work. Um, any mistakes or anything that you make on this is just, it, it'll be glaring. Uh, so, you know, I, I, I plot on and hopefully I can fix anything that comes up or, uh, I'm really, really hoping that, you know, whenever I get around to deciding on a paint shop, uh, that they have some good advice as far as how to handle any imperfections that I've introduced into the process. Uh, cause there's, I, I can, you know, it's like any big project that you do that you can, I can spend all day long pointing out all the mistakes that I've done. And, uh, you know, for the most part, most of the build is if, if you make a mistake, it's reasonably easy to cope with because you're deep enough into the, the, the inner workings of the airplane that it's like, Oh, okay. I can fix that through uh, another means or, or whatnot. Uh, but this is because it's so visible. Uh, I don't know. I mean, so if you ever see the airplane, please don't look too close at the windows, uh, uh and don't judge me. Anyway, um, onto the doors a little bit. Now, this is just, I'm working on getting the latches squared away. And as you can see, this is definitely a little bit too hard that I've got to put that much force on it. So I had to go back and work on it a little bit more. Um, it's, this isn't an easy part, but uh, this is something that, yeah, you can kind of work your way through it. Uh, this is one part that I just don't get, um, is that rib nut there on the right-hand side, or no, yeah, on the right-hand side of that picture, that's what they say to use to hold the screw into place on the door handle. Um, I, I don't get it. Uh, I've asked around uh, that the, the rib nut does not fit in the handle itself. So what I wound up doing was uh, putting some uh, uh, epoxy in the hole and a nut that the screw fit into and uh, called it a day and it's going to work. Um, anyway, uh, I got, I hung the first of the, uh, compression or the, 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 uh, the rods there for the door openings, uh, just to kind of get moving forward on that. I still have to get them, I, they're, they're at this phase of the, 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 the build, they're completely in, but I got that hung and knew, I knew that I needed to get that going. So anyway, I'm just onto the other door seal, getting that taken care of, uh, again, like most everything, once you figure out how to do it the first time it's not too bad the second I followed the same process where uh, any of the screws that were on the uh, inside or the nuts that were in the inside I basically um, didn't tape that down I needed to get a really good line for the there's this uh, op a, a ridge there that's in the door for the door handle and uh, I needed to get some sort of template so that when I trimmed the window or the epoxy or the plexiglass uh, that I had the correct line on it and uh, so I just basically taped up some uh, uh, paper or you know the material that I had there and uh, trimmed around that so that I could get a good line for it and uh, set that down I think this is the first time that I'm showing a video of where how I was trimming the windows themselves uh, I found that this disc with the Dremel worked really well um, I didn't run into any issue with it uh, cracking or fracturing or anything like that. Um, I don't know if it was just the speed I had the, dr the Dremel at or whatnot, but um, it went through it really well, did a really good job of it. And, um, you know, I was pretty happy with the outcome. Uh, with everything that I've done window wise, I basically would mark the line with a generous amount of um, extra slop on the outside so that I had to sand it down rather than uh, trim it down. Uh, so basically get it close and then use, uh, and, and I actually wound up switching over to a, uh, a three inch disc sander that I've got here and, uh, like a, a fine blade that I could find. And, uh, it made quick work of it, which worked a lot better than just the, the hand sander. Uh, and I, I think I, I'm pretty happy with how that turned out. Uh, there, there's, I got a little bit out of line on a few things and the way this process at least for me worked is I'd put it into place and then I'd make some notes and uh, the you know I mentioned earlier that I was using the vinyl tape to mark my cuts in this particular window I hadn't peeled back the uh, protective material so I was able to just mark right on the window with the 
sharpie there and then I could give myself a, 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 a decent line to it. Uh, the real trick is basically getting a, or finding a, a point on the window that matched and then had some alignment marks that I would start with. So I'd put the window in place, match them up with the alignment marks, and then work backwards from there as far as what else needed to be trimmed. Uh, for, so, th and that worked out really well. Uh, uh, at this phase of the game, I have all the windows in and uh, I'm pretty comfortable with how they uh, look from a trim perspective. There's some things I could have probably done a little bit better. Um, I, I did, uh, so anyway, uh, I needed to do, t I, I didn't want to get the interior all messed up uh, because this this door was actually already installed. Uh, I put some sealant in the, 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 the mount point in the top and I need, since I knew I was going to need to trim that down, I just basically created this little barrier so when I sanded I didn't get all kinds of material dropping down into the inside of the, the, the airplane to protect the interior a little bit more, especially because it was uh, going to be more forward with the instruments and things like that. Um, anyway, so I got that all trimmed up and uh, doing this is on the other window itself. And um, by this point in time, I, I feel like I have a pretty decent beat on how things work. Um, it, it's got an interesting smell to it when you cut it um, because it, it, you're not necessarily, uh, well, I mean, you're cutting it, but uh, there's probably some uh, heating of the material as the drum will go through it. And you can see how much trim uh, or slop or you know, material that I took off there when it flopped over. Um, and I think I mentioned in another video was, well, do you put the, the window on with the door on or do you put it with it off? And given the rigidity of the door, uh, I'm not sure it really matters. Um, the door doesn't flex, not at all. Um, it, it's a very rigid door. Um, so I think if you were to, if I was to do this over again, I would not put the door on and then try to attempt to put the window on. I would do everything off the airplane first. Uh, it makes it a little bit easier, um, gives it a little bit more flexibility. It is, is a little harder to clamp down, uh, as you'll see a little bit later here in the video. Um, but it does make it easier for just having everything on all in one spot because you can kind of set it into place and, and, you know, check for measurements and things like that. I think the door windows are actually a little bit easier to put on as well because the, the concave nature of the, the material is much closer to what it needs to adhere to as opposed to if you go back and watch my rear window cutting uh, I was having to tape down that that piece of uh, plexiglass to be able to get it to curve to the uh, the, the cowling itself um, but this just made it super easy to do it here and um, plus I didn't have to worry about doing that tape uh, or the the masking there to protect the interior I could just sand away right here um, and the, the the sanding doesn't it's not really, you don't have to get super aggressive with it because the uh, even the, the outside of the door is still in the material that came from the factory and uh, whatever overspray that was from when they painted the, uh, the, the door itself at the factory, um, that sends off pretty quick. Um, I mean, I didn't want to get too deep into it. Uh, but you can see where the color changes from the, uh, the kind of the, the light gray to the white. And um, that's about as far as I went. And I didn't go that deep throughout the entire door just because it, it, the material was uh, buffed up enough in order to be able to receive the, the, the adhesive. So I wasn't too worried about it. Um, so anyway... Um, at this point in time, I'm just basically masking things off so that the, the C-Flex doesn't, uh, you know, bleed out into something that I don't want it to be on. Because uh, once it gets on the surface, it gets a lot harder to clean up. And uh, I did front and back. Uh, th the door handle's already been sized correctly. It's just not on for this part. And uh, then the other part that I needed to do is I needed to trim off just enough of the uh, protective material from the window so that it... Uh, uh, would uh, in this part it's basically th there's an alignment or I've got a line there that it goes under and so I just basically needed to trim it off so that I could see the line uh, on, on both sides um, the inside's a little bit easier to trim off but the outside I just got a little razor blade and cut my way through um, and then this is uh, the inside there you can see where I've got the uh, vinyl tape mask to where the edge would be uh, on the outside the visible side and then put on the painter's tape so that 
the uh, I didn't over scuff the area so that it it wouldn't travel over into the visible part of the the, the plexiglass. And at that point in time, uh, marking this up was uh, pretty straightforward. I could just get after it and be done with it. Anyway, a uh, little bit more on this on the next video, and uh, we'll start working on the interior for the next stuff. So we'll talk to you soon. Thanks.